Hi, my name is Callie Holterman and I'm a senior news assistant at the Learning Network. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to one of our weekly features, what's going on in this graph. Every Friday of the school year, we share a different graph, map, or chart from the New York Times and invite students to share what they notice and wonder about it. With our partners at the American Statistical Association, we host a live moderated discussion about that graph in the comments section on the following Wednesday. Then on Thursday afternoons, we reveal additional background information about the graph and provide a free link to the article that the graph originally appeared in. The what's going on in this graph feature aims to highlight a wide range of graph types and subjects with an emphasis on those that will be relevant to students. Past graphs have looked at gas and electric vehicles, international military budgets by country, how nutritionists and the public vary on how nutritious they think certain foods are, and even high school sports injuries. We also vary graph types, including box plots, histograms, scatter plots, bubble charts, area charts, bar graphs, and maps. And with each graph, we try to highlight different stat nuggets or math and statistics concepts that can be explored through that graph. So past graphs have looked at stat nuggets like median, standard deviation, logarithmic scale, and market share. At the bottom of every what's going on in this graph post, you can find three indices that sort graphs by topic, type, and stat nugget. With each graph, we publish four questions for students to consider, drawn from Annie Fetter's noticing and wondering methodology. We ask students, what do you notice? What do you wonder? What impact does this have on you and your community? And finally, what's going on in this graph? Write a catchy headline that captures the graph's main idea. Students can post their responses to these questions in the comments section at any time, but they're especially encouraged to do so on Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern, which is when moderators from the American Statistical Association will be participating in the discussion. And students can reply to each other, moderators reply to students, and it's a very lively conversation. On Thursday evenings, the what's going on in this graph post is updated to include an accessible explanation of what actually was going on in the graph. This reveal provides a free link to the article where the graph was originally published, and it also delves into the stat nuggets or the key terms and concepts that the graph explores. In addition to these weekly graphs, we also have roundups like 28 graphs on inequality and 60 of our favorite graphs. What's going on in this graph aims to engage students with the visual and graphic representations that the Times creates to help readers better understand what's going on in the world. Through open-ended prompts and a live chat with expert educators, this feature provides a way in for students of different ages and skill levels and starts with each student's own curiosity. Visit the What's Going On in This Graph page on the Learning Network to start using this activity with your students.